Hey guys, this is Charles Jager with Metal. In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at the Mobius Transform effect as a part of Mantra VR. And we're going to use this effect to create a virtual dolly. Now, a virtual dolly is a little difficult to explain, but it can definitely add an extra element to your VR videos, especially help your footage stand out to clients. And so what's happening with a virtual dolly is we're essentially moving the camera in the middle of a 360 sphere kind of in that 3D space. So if we take a look here at the global preview, you can see Essentially, a 360 video is just footage wrapped around in a spherical shape. And then our camera, our POV, I'm just going to double click here, and we're going to go inside of the sphere. Our virtual camera for every 360 video is just directly in the center of this sphere. So you can see I can look around here. So what we're going to be doing with the Mobius Transform effect is we're going to create a virtual dolly. So inside of this sphere, imagine, we're going to actually move the virtual camera inside of that space. You can see here I'm kind of imitating that with the zoom function in the globe preview. And I'm going to double click and exit outside of the sphere. And you can see here on this example video of the spherical shape that would be like our 360 video. And we're just going to dolly the virtual camera a little bit in space inside of that 360 space. And this will create the illusion of movement. And you can see here from this first person perspective of that same preview how it kind of changes the way the footage looks. Now I definitely want to stress that if you're not careful with this effect, if you're not subtle with it, it can actually break the illusion and make your footage look a lot worse. Because it'll break the illusion and everyone will realize that the footage in fact, it's just wrapping around in a spherical shape, and they're going to realize it's just being projected, you know, flat on a sphere shape, and it's not going to look right. It's really going to work best on shots that are in open spaces, like outside, exteriors. If you have anything really close to the camera, it can look a little weird because, again, we're moving inside of the sphere, but we're not going to see any parallax on anything else that's in the shot. So, like with this mountain here, there won't necessarily be any parallax with this front mountain and these back mountains. Now, in this case, I think it'll be okay with this particular shot. It's really if you just have a person or something really close to the camera, it can look a little bit weird because there's not going to be any parallax. With that being said, let's just go ahead and jump into this and let's go ahead and create this effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to the effects and presets panel and I'm just going to type in VR. to toggle all the mantra effects and I'm going to select the Mobius transform effect and drag and drop it on my footage. Now, again, I want to stress that this effect is going to work best on video that is on a tripod or a still 360 picture you've taken because you can add a little bit of movement to that photo. In this case, this footage actually has some movement to it. So I'm actually going to right click and I'm going to go to time and I'm actually going to freeze frame this. And the reason I'm doing that is just so you guys can see this effect a little bit better in the tutorial and you don't confuse what's happening with the actual movement of the footage. So if we come up here to the Mobius Transform effect, I'll just pull this out a little bit so we can see everything. You can see we have the frame layout. Of course, we can select monoscopic or stereoscopic. I'm working with monoscopic. Then we have a zoom in point. So if I click this, a zoom in point should be right there. I believe in the center. Yes, that's where it is. And we have a zoom out point. It's exactly on the polar opposite over here on the back side. So right off the bat, this effect is already set up perfectly for a virtual dolly. So if I go here to the zoom factor and I actually toggle this, you're going to see what's happening. And it'll be reflected pretty easily over here in our global preview as well. I'm actually going to click on that so we can go inside it. And you can kind of see what's happening. I'm going to line this up with the front. So as I toggle the zoom factor, I'm just doing this so we can actually see this in this example. If I go all the way up to the max, you can see it's like we're getting closer to this one wall of our 360 shot. You can see over here reflected in the global preview. And as I pull this back, we're essentially dollying back away from that wall and going back toward the other side on the back. So if I look around here, you can see it's kind of distorting it. So we're, I'm doing a really extreme case here just so we can kind of see what's happening. So it looks like we're on really one far side of our 360 video. So I'm going to set this back to zero. Now what we want to do to do a virtual dolly is just, again, be very subtle with this. So what I'm actually going to do, we want the camera to be already on one side at the very start. So I might move this back, let's say negative four. And then I'm going to go ahead and create a keyframe there on the zoom factor. And I'm going to move down here about eight seconds or so. And then we're going to switch the zoom factor from negative four to positive four. And this may still be too much here in this case, but we're just going to see what this looks like. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a quick RAM preview on this. And so now we can see this RAM preview and we can get an idea of what's happening over here in the global preview. You can see it's like we're actually dollying through the shot. So that's a nice subtle example of doing a virtual dolly on our footage. And again, you could adjust these values any way you see fit. You know, typically with me, I would probably set these to something like probably negative two or negative three. Negative four may be a bit extreme. You definitely want to preview this kind of effect in a headset, if at all possible, because the closer we get to one particular side, the more distortion or the blurrier the footage could look. If you're not working with higher quality footage, you probably want to be using footage as it was shot on a little bit higher end of a camera 
um, such as like a GoPro Omni or something like that that shoots in 8K at least. However, if you are using something like a Samsung Gear or a Theta S, just take a photo with those because those photos are going to be very high resolution. They're going to be like 8K quality uh, with that. And so then you can animate a still. So you can still get very good results from those smaller consumer cameras. Now we have a few other options with the Mobius Transform effect here. We have the reorientation. So this is just kind of like the rotate sphere effect if you want to go ahead and rotate it to basically change which way that virtual dolly is going toward. But again, you may not want to do this because you probably already have your footage set up the way you want it to be facing initially. Now you can also move the zoom in and out points. Now I wouldn't really recommend this if you're just setting up a virtual dolly like we did. I would leave it kind of at the defaults that it was at. But if you want to create some abstract effects, you can definitely move these around your footage and get some very interesting results setting these at various places. Now alternatively, there's another way you can toggle this effect through the Mantra VR panel. So I'm actually going to go ahead and delete this effect. And I'm going to apply Mantra VR to our footage, and then I'm going to toggle the panel. And inside of the panel, we'll see our presets here, and you're going to see a virtual dolly. So I'm going to click that, and you're going to see this has applied the Mobius transform effect and also a dolly in and out, which is something we can easily animate here. You can see it's linked to our effect. So I'm actually going to go ahead and close that, and so we can just easily animate the virtual dolly using the dolly in out slider here. So we could keyframe this the same way we did the zoom factor. Now I'm actually gonna delete this effect and I'm gonna bring back in the Mobius transform effect. I'm gonna apply that back to my footage because not only can we do a virtual dolly, but you can also do a virtual kind of crane shot or a jib shot essentially using the same technique, except we're gonna go ahead and move around these zoom in and out points. So again, initially they're kind of set up to work on the Z axis here uh, going toward the forward and back. But if we want it to go up and down, we can do that as well. So I'm gonna set this at zero. And so what we need to do for that is we need to select the first zoom in point and we need to set the second value here at zero. And that'll move it all the way to the top of our footage. And for the second out point, we need to go ahead and set this to 2048 for the first value. And for the second value, we also need to set that to be 2048. Now this with this particular footage, you can see if you're working with a different resolution, it may be a little bit different value, but you just want to make sure that the end point is at the top and the out point is at the very bottom and they're both centered up here. And so we can actually see this in the global preview when I animate the zoom factor now. Now we're going to be moving up and down. Again, you want to be very subtle with this because if you do it too extreme, it's going to start to look very odd. So this one I would even say you have to be even more careful with, probably something like negative one maybe negative two, and then all the way to positive one or positive two. So I'm gonna set this up now at negative two just for this tutorial so we can see it. And I'll do a keyframe here for the zoom factor, move down in time, and set this to be a positive two. And let's go ahead and RAM preview this. And so we can see here in the RAM preview on our footage, and if you look over here at the global preview, you can see it looks kinda of like we're rising up. So it's a really cool effect. Again, just be very subtle with it. Uh, in order to get the best results, you don't want to break that illusion where people can see that they're actually just inside of a sphere of footage that actually is flat with no parallax. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial uh, showing you the virtual dolly effect using the Mobius transform effect. I think it's going to be a very popular effect for VR videos, uh, and especially if it's used correctly, and you can definitely use it to impress clients and that kind of thing. All right, guys, it's been Charles Jager with Metal. Thanks for watching.